I see the king. The king's name is George. See George Fry. Anyway, I do want to get on the right ship. 
I believe it was the Albatross, sir. The Albatross? That's the ship Cousin Vendor is taking. The Albatross? That's the ship we're taking. The Albatross? That's the ship that's taking the field. No, no, everyone. The Albatross is the ship that General Hawk is taking as his official flagship, Britain's ship. Oh, delightful. All of us to sail together. Hail Britannia! Hail Britannia! No, no, sir. Hail Britannia! Glorious Britannia! God save Britannia! for that. You wouldn't believe what those crazy British are doing up there in that palace. I'm glad I'm getting out. You got fire? No, I got rescue. Lady Livingstone's taking me with, with her out to America on this ship. Hmm, so you and me gonna sail away to the sunset? Never mind much. Let me tell you what they've been doing. Things been cooking around there too. The British have taken over. You fighters, get your fucking paws off me. I'll tell you who I am. Here comes the next. I think it's safer not to resist the rest, Uncle Henry. Captain Kidd will fight them to the death. Oh, double, double, poor oh, trouble. Oh, I can't believe the British would be so mean to kindly own me. Nathaniel, relax. Say it isn't so. I'm afraid it is, Captain. The British have come. The ship is now officially British property. You will kindly remove yourself, American. Mm, that's the first time I've been called that. To think that the good ship Albatross would come to this. Oh, woe is me. Isn't it wonderful to see that British uniform? Gives one a sense of security. Come on, Natalie, shall we go on? I don't want a sense of security. If you don't mind, Lady Nerdstone, I'd like to wait for the general. Of course, my dear, I understand. Come on. 
I've been since last night, sir. Dear me, I hope he's all right. Oh, I wouldn't worry about him. We should be thankful he's quiet after the scene he made yesterday. Yes, I suppose so. Though with all due respect, sir, I don't think you should have let him take over your quarters. Oh, I don't really mind, Barnaby. If it makes him happy. After all, he is the American ambassador. Not for much longer, I'll thank all that. I think I'll see how he is. Your eminence, Mr. Badge. No use calling him that, sir. He don't answer to that name no more. Captain Kidd. Avastor! Who dares disturb the Pirate King? I thought you might like some hot soup, sir. Captain Kidd does not drink hot soup! Aha! Ships! Must be at least 60 of them out there. So Henry Morgan's at it again for his whole fleet, huh? No, Your Eminence. That's the British fleet. Do not contradict the Pirate King. Sorry, Captain. Ah, that's all right, though. We'll cut him down. We'll take him. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. A bottle of rum. You there, give me a bottle of rum at once. The week before you, Mr. Barnaby, sir. It's about time. You're twelve seconds light. Sorry, old great timekeeper. Well, you should be. Uh, Captain. I don't think it'd be a wise idea to give the ambassador any rum. No. You'll tear the place apart. I hadn't thought of that. Barnaby, look, flamingos, dozens of them. What in the name of Alfred are flamingos doing in the North Atlantic? It just ain't possible, sir. You'd better give them over and check the charts. Yes, yes, a very good idea. Aha! It is just as I suspected. The North Atlantic Barnacle has 13 legs. Wait until the Royal Academy hears about this. <laughs> 